For nine years, Kay Thornton was blind, stricken by a rare condition that destroys cells on the surface of her eye. But over the Labor Day weekend, surgery restored her eyesight. A procedure originally done in Italy, performed, doctors say, for the first time in the U.S. The first thing she saw, her doctor giving her medication. When he put that antibiotic in my eye, my eye, and I could see that yellow <laughs> antibiotic, I said, it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I knew then I could see. How did they do it? Believe it or not, doctors used a tooth and a part of the lining of her own cheek to build a tiny window, allowing light to get inside. You see, we go from a tooth to basically kind of like a table, a table with a hole and a cylinder in the center. And that's the table that we're going to put in the front part of the eye so the light can go into the eye. Doctors say Kay will be out in a few days, but they also say there might be as many as 200 other people in the U.S. who suffer from the same condition. People who might not know there is now a procedure that could restore their sight. Who in the world would ever think of taking a tooth out of your head and putting it in your eye? Think about that. Here I am going to have this tooth sticking under here. Everybody's already staring at me. they really going to be staring at me. And then I'm going to tell them what's going to happen to this tooth, where it's going. And you tell them that and they say, what? The tooth the doctors used to create the tiny window, fittingly, it was Kay's eye tooth. You don't think about going blind, do you? You know, do we ever? Um, now that I have sight, I will take every day and remember it. The clouds were absolutely gorgeous. I don't believe I've seen clouds look that way. Doctors hope the procedure can restore sight to U.S. soldiers injured in battle. Kay now has 2070 vision and is already reading newsprint. She was able to see the I'll photographers at her emotional news conference, but the best seeing her grandchildren yes. is yet to come. And, you know, that's Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.